Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So, are you into virtual mining? Enjoy playing games to earn Bitcoin and other crypto? Then keep watching. Okay, so what are we looking at today? As I said in my intro, we're going to be going and looking at our virtual mining games or, you know, sort of virtual mining simulators kind of thing. So I just thought because I was looking through my videos and I realized that I'd done a bit on Fire Faucet, I'd done a bit on Rollercoin, but I actually hadn't talked uh, or showed you uh, my Satoshi Labs or my HitBits account for quite some time. So that's what. So we're going to go and look at all four of those programs. We're going to look at how they've progressed and how they're building. And I've actually got a couple of little tips for you to maybe improve your gameplay and your earning of crypto on these sites. Okay. So before we start, I just want to say I'm re a big apology. I know my uh, schedule, my usual schedule is Tuesday, Thursday. And sort of on the weekend for my third video of the week and it's all been a bit messed up over the over the last week I, I do apologize hopefully next week it should be back on track anyway that that aside let's get on with it okay so first we're we're looking at uh, my roller coin account so roller coin is a very simple program basically you, you get a free account you come in here you play games and you build up your crypto earnings that you can now um, multi mine so you can mine three coins at one time but the real technique behind this is simply you play the games you build up your power you earn your coins and then you go into the shops and earn, and buy yourself these miners. The reason for that is that basically the um, the power you earn while playing games has a finite time on it. So basically, it doesn't last a long time. But obviously, in that time, you know, if you continue to play, your power will build up, and you will earn enough coins to go and buy yourself some miners. So the last time we were in here. I had 78 terahashes. As you can see now, I have 130. Not all of that is from the miners. Some of that is from gameplay. Uh, but in the last, from the last time we were in there, I've actually purchased two more miners, which is this orange guy in here and the little blue fellow over here. They are the two I've purchased recently. I'm also on the brink of being able to buy another one of them which is worth this is worth six terra this will uh basically give you six terra hashes of power and i believe this gives you something like 14 uh or, or around about that so basically so my my tip on this right is that when you when you play your games to a certain point uh, if you play enough games, you will get these bonuses. And the bonuses appear on your account as new hardware. So you improve your um, computer. The black com This black computer, the idea is that it lasts you three days. It allows you to basically play uh, once every 24 hours, uh, and it will, but it will keep most of the power you had in there but what i've actually been doing is i've realized that if i play for just and you don't even have to play for a lot it, once you get to this point i mean obviously you can keep playing and build up to higher points but i've just got to this point this first bonus computer and all i do is i play about four or five games in the morning which each game takes you less than a minute to play, or the games I play anyway, it takes you about, uh, yeah, about 45 seconds, maybe something some like that. Uh, and then I'll play for a few 
in the evening and what that's done that's actually helped me retain this upgrade computer for well over a week and the good thing is with that is yes you do lose a little bit here and there um, but it will retain the majority of your power so even if you lose like one or two terahashes maybe even lose as much as five or six all you got to do is play a few more games and you'll be back up there and it just keeps you at that higher level uh, so obviously if we go into the shop this is what the hardware you'll be looking to buy first thing you you need to purchase yourself is a rack as you can see in my little uh, humble abode there I had three of these lined up and this is basically where you will place your miners so this is the first thing that you have to buy obviously you can buy for 300 you can buy larger racks and the, the good thing about that is obviously they will take up less space in your apartment and basically when you run out of space then you're a bit scuppered uh, so buying the larger racks is the better way to go i've ended up buying three small racks uh which um at the end of the day i'm sure is go i'm gonna get undone by that at some point uh anyway so if we scroll down you'll see i'll show you the the last couple of miners i've bought so this is the little guy and that bring that begins me six at uh, 6.5 uh terahashes and then this was the other fellow i bought and this gives me 16 uh, or 16 terahashes so in the last i think it's the last week or so maybe a couple of weeks i can't remember the last time i actually did a video uh, i think it's the last week uh maybe a bit more <laughs> sorry uh, anyway, I've managed to buy those, so that's brought me over 20 terahashes, and and like I say, I am on the verge of buying another one of these. I possibly might save up to buy another one of those, or even that. We'll just have to see how quickly my account builds. So anyway, so the other thing is, is you'd come in here, and obviously for those of you that uh, are new, this is where you'll find the games you need to play. Uh, they're all pretty much based on old uh, arcade and computer games like this is Arkanoid uh, this is based on uh, Galactica I think uh, these are and these are just like uh, it's like almost like a bit like connect 4 uh, where you just connect even uh, is it not bubble bobble anyway you I'm sure you'll understand what I mean uh, so this one is just I actually like playing this uh for a couple of re one is it's just dead easy also it gives you one of the biggest payouts but the other reason is it's a, a memory game and you know i'm getting on in years and to keep my brain active and remembering things uh it's a fun it's a good fun game to play so i was just normally hit full screen And basically, all you got to do is just simply match the uh, things. I probably, I don't know why I always play this on full screen. Uh, I've got in the habit of doing it from playing on my mobile phone. But when I play on these, my laptops, because my laptops are not the best, sometimes they do struggle a bit. Um, even though obviously it's not a difficult game, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's not it's not a really high uh, high. Uh, resource use in game but for some weird reason uh, my um, computer or my laptop does sort of struggle so <coughs> excuse me so I scored 912 points and what that equates to is 912 giga hashes so that's nearly a tera hash just from playing one game and um yeah and then it will just do this bit and and this is why i said this is it's dead easy it, i mean you just saw there it was like what was it 30 seconds or something and um and like i say uh the other thing as well is that if you can download this for your mobile phone because obviously when you've finished using it on your computer you have to switch it off and then and i believe that when you switch it off even though it's sort of meant to be like a virtual cloud mining kind of thing uh, I do believe it actually slows down on how much it's given you uh, in the way of coins so um, 
I actually have it on my mobile phone. And I, I'll play it at work or whatever, you know, if I'm bored. Uh, but what I actually do is I sort of leave it. So what I'll do, I'll close it, but I actually won't exit it. So I just have it running in the background as well, which I tend to find uh, builds up my account a lot quicker. So that's another tip. Uh, I did mention that in a video recently. So like I say, if you can get the mobile download for it, I just found it on Google on Google Play, but I'm not sure it's actually on there anymore. But anyway, so uh, that's it. It's dead simple. Have fun. Go and play some games. Build up the coin. Buy some miners, and then you'll be earning. I mean, I'm now earning. I, in my last video, I think I said I was earning about 300. Uh, sorry, about 100 satoshis in a 24-hour period. I'm now earning about. 300 satoshis or close to it in a 24 hour period just from this game uh, or from this site so for me it is well worth it and like I say it's a bit of fun and keeps me entertained at work to where I'm bored so let's leave that there and uh, we'll move on to our next program okay so here we are in fire faucet I know uh, Again, with like Rollercoin, I did a few a little update on it um, only a week or so ago. But some actually, it was something that I didn't realise had happened, and weirdly enough, I just sort of stumbled across it. And even though I know it does happen, <laughs> I just for some way I just hadn't checked it or I hadn't even picked up on it. And then um, I always had a very nice surprise. And anyway, I'll talk to you about what. Uh, what that was in a second but firstly I just want to show you because obviously I know I talk about this and I say that uh, obviously there's multiple ways on this site that you can earn because uh, you do, you can go into the offer wall where you can view videos you can do surveys you can do various things you can download apps to your mobile phone all those kind of things you can do to earn credits on here okay uh, and obviously everybody does it differently and also as well, the other thing I said was, the other thing I pointed out was that now uh, they have brought in this convert. So with the original, the way the site originally worked, would you build up coins or would you build up claims and then you'd come down here and you'd press auto start, which is brilliant because by doing that, you can earn multiple coins all at the same time time the only problem is you have to leave your laptop running all the time so if you've built up a lot of claims like for instance i i have now got this i've got this now uh, which is a quite a large amount of claims if i click on it you're going to see how many hours this needs to run just to see look this will run non-stop apparently for 271 hours uh so who it to claim these coins i mean if i put i guess actually if we if we do this we can we can see what the what the minimum amount we could do because if we pick btc btc uses more claims so let's so if we click that and then we click this that will show us what the um minimum smallest amount of time that we could end up leaving our laptop running for um, sorry for some weird reason the button wasn't working then and uh, here we go right apparently only part of the button was so still it's 118 hours by uh, using Bitcoin so who wants to leave their laptop running for 118 hours I mean that is just insane yes obviously you're gonna build up a lot of coins which is brilliant uh, I mean you could all you could basically say well I mean as you know it's no different I guess to CPU mining so CPU mining you just leave running all the time but with this rather than mining one coin you are mining multiple coins so if you are someone that likes to cpu mine has cpu mined in the past and you're looking for something that resembles that then might this might be absolutely brilliant for you uh because like i say i used to do this all the time uh until i found this uh this sort of convert thing which i've talked about in the past uh which now you can just literally click on that 
uh, type in how many claims you want and then claim that per coin for the for the coins you want so um, but anyway um, as you know I do surveys right I did so it's the 23rd today 23rd of the first uh, 2020 I will prove that to you just briefly there you go so there 23rd of the first 2020 and so and you can see that that is the amount of claims I have uh, now right so I did a survey I I this is so this is what I had in my account yesterday here you can see 2201 2020 so that's what I, so I done so on the on the 21st I did one survey that is one survey you right I did that and because uh, they had in the offer wall for the particular survey I did they had a bonus on it so rather than earning 61,000 I earned 71,000 so that's one survey I did there right so and then I did one survey um, yesterday because obviously I done that on the I did that sur so I did that survey you just looking at so this survey I did on the 21st and then so I then I coming back into my account on the 22nd and then I do another survey so that's one more survey and I end up with 113,000 so that's literally two surveys that's all I've done is two surveys and this is what obviously I know everyone not everybody wants to do surveys and I re realize that but what I'm saying is if if you want to use this account or this site earn a lot of coins in a short period of time for not doing for maybe only half an hour at the most of your time this is the this is the way to do it and also as well I, I thought by converting that you were losing out on activity points so but what I've realized is your activity points are logged or the the surfing only logs a small amount of activity points so actually surfing uh, using the auto faucet surfer or you know the, the button we've just seen with multi coins on it that only registers a small amount of activity points the large amount of activity points comes from things like using the offer wall doing your short links all that that's where you build the, mo the majority of your activity points from so you're not actually really losing a lot by using this converter uh, but yet it means that you don't have to have your laptop sat there for 118 hours because what you can do is what I'm going to show you in a sec. But anyway, back to my nice surprise. So this bar here tells you what level you're at here. Oh no, this is the level I'm on. I'm on my way to. This is the level I'm at, and this is your progress bar. Anyway, um, for some weird reason this is just weird coincidence i'm guessing that my progress bar just seemed stuck at this point where my arrow was all the time it just seemed stuck there and then all of a sudden it changed to down here and i hadn't noticed <laughs> this number was changing i was just looking at the bar every time i'd come in and i go oh he hasn't really moved much so until it dropped down here and i thought oh i've leveled up so i'll go and collect my reward point so i come in here and this is this is this is not me doing uh, a survey every single day this is not me doing a survey every single day I don't have time to do a survey every single day that's why the surveys I pick are always large looking for large credits so I might do a survey every couple of days right uh, and then anyway I came in here and I if you sc scroll down and this is how many levels I have leveled up and I hadn't even realized so I've got all this BTC to collect um, so that's what we're gonna do so so that's uh, that's that
right? So I'm not going to make you watch all these. But what I am going to do is because... Um, oh, what's that? That's weird. Maybe I should have started at the bottom first. Okay, so we have managed to claim all my rewards, and we'll go and I'll go and show you that in my wallet in just a second. But first, uh, we're gonna um, I'll leave the daily bonus for the moment, uh, but we're gonna just show you this once again, and I'll show you how much. Um, I'm going to earn and you got to think this is literally me just coming I this I did do this one day and then the next day I, I did do two on the bounce which like I say normally it's I'll do it every couple of days or something like that but anyway so we're going to click on this and as you guys know I'm I am saving ethereum at the moment so we'll do right so we're going to get 696,000 ethereum for that and that is like I say, coming in on two days, maybe spending 20 minutes a half an hour, and that's and that's what I've built. So say an hour's worth of work by doing, and maybe maybe even a bit less. Like I say, maybe 40 minutes, and I've earned that, and it's dead easy. And I'm also going to show you because I now use a different um, survey a different survey thing so i'm going to show you that as well so you can go and check that out right so anyway we'll just exchange this right so that's what we've got uh the withdrawal limit is uh i think it's four hundred thousand. so what we're going to do is we're going to do a withdrawal i have done numerous withdrawals um from this account and they have i've never had a problem they've all landed in my wallet uh, like I say, a lot of what I've earned from here recently, Ethereum-wise, went has gone into that Ethereum investment that um, I did the video on recently. Um, okay, so there, there you can see that's what I earned from my rewards. Uh, I think I might have had uh, maybe a, maybe a hundred satoshis in there prior, but that that is what I've earned just from all those level ups uh, that I've done so that's really again from just doing a few surveys every couple of days or like a survey every couple of days and then that's just the sort of the um, bonus I guess so we're, we're going to withdraw this oh and we can't withdraw it because it's saying the stock is empty so anyway right so forget that <laughs> it doesn't happen very often um, most of the coins are normally kept up um, fairly full, but uh, obviously now and again if you come in here and it's saying it's out of stock, then you just have to wait. Okay, so last thing. I'm just going to quickly go into this. I know um, I have covered this a few times before, but like I say, so you can do Asia Mag. Be careful. This is a thing. Uh, just be careful with this as the site can contain uh, malware if you're only going on to claim your points and just because basically you just go and do a tour to claim your points and I think you can do anything up to 15 tours per day that basically you just sit there just going through a tour over and over again so personally it's not something I would do but it just to let you know it now and again has been known to contain malware so just be careful with that okay so you got your short links which you know your standard faucet which you're going to just go and claim from and uh, then you got your BT PTCs that's um, pretty much similar to short links you're just clicking on stuff and then you got the offer wall so like I say I do the surveys in here but I'm going to show you now the surveys I do uh, so I, I still do uh, th I, still, I can't I still can't pronounce it that one I still do that one but what I actually do is I now pretty much leave this one uh, most of the times for Hitbits and Satoshi Labs. So that's because the thing is, if you use all, if you go on there in Firefoss and you have a Satoshi Labs and you have a Hitbits uh, account and you've used the same email to log it to register all of them, then um, basically what happens is that if I use all my, um, do all the surveys in here, 
there's none left for the other two games. So what I tend to do is now leave that and split that between Satoshi Labs and Hitbits. Right, so this is the one I used to do. And then I found that it was becoming harder and harder and taking longer and longer to get a survey completed. Uh, and unlike uh, this one, if you even if you've got 99% of the way and on the last survey question for some weird reason they decide they don't like your answer you do not get anything you have to then go through another survey so it became rather tedious uh, but now what i do is i use this one which is medium path um this is the bonus i was on about as well a medium path had it on that day i got uh, my seventy-one thousand, which you saw in the picture so uh or the screenshot should i say it's probably a better way of saying it so if you come in here, this actually uses the same the same people as AdGate, but they just don't seem to be as picky. And I think the reason why they don't seem to be as picky is purely because it, the ACP, the credits, do not they don't put them straight into your account, uh, whereas AdGate does. So as soon as you've done it, AdGate will put it into your account. But like I say, you, can t you might end up sitting there for an hour because you can't complete a, t uh, a survey. In here, they're like I say, they're the same people, but they just don't seem to be as strict. So this one uh, is one I do. And then the next one I'll do is this one. So that's where the 61,000 came from or ended up being 71,000. And then the day after, uh, I did this one, and or I might have even done that one again. I'm not sure, but anyway, I ended up at 113,000, as you saw. Um, but like I say, is this they just seem to be a lot more lenient on you doing the surveys, and also a lot of the surveys. I I did this survey the other day, and it took literally five minutes. It was about five questions, and then went right, you're done. And I thought, oh, I failed. It just went, thanks a lot. And then I realised, and then it comes up and it re redirected me back to this page. And I realised I'd actually completed it. And it had only taken five minutes. Uh, and I still earned the full amount. But like I say, they don't end up in your account for maybe a few hours. And then they'll just suddenly, and then they'll just be there. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, Fire Faucet. Um, obviously, if it's something that you're interested in, it is a really good means of earning crypto quickly. And like I say, now with uh, the way they've done it, you don't even have to leave your computer running. You can just claim those coins straight away and then obviously leave them in here or withdraw them to somewhere else. A lot, someone was talking to me the other day about the crypto investment and where could they get Ethereum from and they I asked them well what programs are you using they said five I said well there you go so you can just do do your um, your surveys or watch your videos or do your short links or your whatever uh, and then just claim straight away Ethereum's in your wallet and then you can send that straight to your meta mask wallet which if you're interested in the investment just go into my channel uh, I've actually uh, set up a playlist called investments go in there and you'll be able to see it uh, and it will obviously tell you how to and what you need to do to get that investment up and running okay so let's move on to uh, the next program Okay, so this is uh, Satoshi Labs. Satoshi Labs is a virtual mining program. Basically, you just simply uh, build up your credits, purchase virtual hardware. That hardware then sort of earns you what are known as lab flasks. One lab flask is worth about half a Satoshi. So, uh, and the minimum withdrawals are now 10,000 lab flasks. So for 10,000 lab flasks, you're going to get about 5,000 Satoshis into your Bitcoin wallet. Um, unfortunately, I'm a little bit sad is because I did actually get this up to nearly 300 uh, lab flasks per hour. And then I can't even remember what happened, but I, ha I didn't manage to get into this account for a few days. My credit balance ran low, uh, which meant that the auto refill energy dropped and kept dropping and kept dropping. And because of that, basically, 
I lost out and now I've got to build that account back up. So just be aware that that can happen. Obviously, because of this uh, update they've done as well, these this cre these credits are running out a lot faster than they used to. So you've got to be aware of that. And th that is actually what the reason why they did it, because they actually realized that basically we were earning credits. We were earning lab flasks at 100%. But the, the credit balance, which controls your energy, was not going down as fast as it should do, uh, which was a bug, uh, which they actually hadn't even noticed. And it had been like a year or so that they'd been running. And then some very kind gentleman basically pointed it out to them and said, uh, I'm really sorry, but I seem to be earning a lot more than I should be. Uh, and so they corrected it. Uh, but obviously, at the end of the day, you know, I'm sure he felt he was helping, uh, um, but it just kind of s stiffed us all. <laughs> but it is a great program, uh, and it's fun, and at the end of the day, like I say, you you know, you just go, it's the same as Fire Fawcett, go into the offer wall, go and do your short links, go and do your videos, go and do the surveys. They don't actually have, I don't think they have the medium path, but they do have AdGate, and they do have um theorem theorem reach whatever you, the thing that one i said i couldn't pronounce which is the one that i always use on here um because the good thing about that is even if you don't quite complete the survey they still give you some credits for it so you know it's always good but anyway uh just to show you i have done a few withdrawals recently um because as i always say with any of these programs one of the things you should be making sure of is that you are getting something back for all the time you're putting in. Just in case something goes wrong and you then aren't stamping your feet thinking, oh, I just spent six months doing this, building up my account, and then they've disappeared. Because in that, within that six months, I'm sure you would have got to a point where you could have withdrew uh, something, but instead you just kept reinvesting, 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 reinvesting. And then, like I say, because we don't know, any anything can happen at any time it's like when i talk about investments there's no no such thing as a hundred percent guaranteed investment it's the same thing with anything nothing can be 100 percent guaranteed apart from as they say death and taxes uh and so i like i say i have done some withdrawals so we have a couple of pendings so i've got twenty one thousand there twenty seven thousand pending there so I'm just waiting for those to come. This one uh, I did get with no problem. And so with that one, I got no problem either. So I'm just waiting for those two to turn up into my wallet. So that's really just sort of like a quick summary of uh, Satoshi Labs. Uh, like I say, it works on a similar basis as Fire Fawcett. You just Uh, we, obviously, you also got to make sure this is running 100%. So you, you are earning 100% of what your hardware is capable of. And then you need to leave enough in there to keep this at 100% until the next time you come back to do another survey. Uh, and that's it. It's dead simple. It's de uh, it's free. Uh, you know, so come and open account. Give it a go. You know, and you just might get yourself some coins into that wallet of yours okay so on to the final program we're going to go and see hit bits hit bits is a uh, sort of like a, a similar thing it's a virtual but instead of being mining it's like a sort of virtual world in a well not a world but basically you can go and do um lots of things uh, you can in fact i'm just going to shut up and we'll just go and look at it <laughs> what am i doing Okay, so basically this is bits. As it says, join the battle today and earn free bitcoins. Fight different monsters, level up, purchase items, make yourself stronger, hire mercenaries, increase your power, and claim multiple rewards. So that is basically the simple uh, and easy sort of uh, explanation of how the, uh, the site works. So let's log in and go and see what my account's been up to. 
Okay, so this is my account. One of the first things when you come in here, uh, if you're not doing it, make sure that you always claim your reward. That is a special potion, uh, which will then end up getting put into your inventory. And then when you and so if you then go and join the battle to fight the various monsters, zombies, and other things, you have things like energy. You have energy. Um, boosters and health boosters and all those kind of things uh, which help you to stay in the battle and keep fighting to claim those rewards and those level ups okay so the last time uh, we came in here if i remember right i had about a hundred and something mercenaries and i was earning uh or was i earning a hundred and something uh i don't know I can't even remember. I, just, I actually tried to find the the video for this uh, in my, and I can't. I just couldn't find the first video I did for this because I, I don't actually think I've done another proper video for this. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was I had something about a hundred odd mercenaries, and then for that I earned X amount of um, coin or credits. And when you get to twenty five thousand credits, you can then go and cash them in for satoshis. So. Basically, um, this is what if you want to go and uh, if you want to do the offer walls because you, you don't let me explain. Obviously, you can go and do the battles, you can do various other things, but in fact, all you need to do the dead simple thing, and this is why it's very much like Sat um, Satoshi Labs all you have to do is purchase mercenaries, purchase food for the mercenaries, and then that's it. You don't actually have to do anything else. So it's dead simple. But if you want to, obviously, if you want to do the offer wall, uh, I'll show you. So this is, uh, again, you've got Adgate. Adgate will give you the best you'll get from that. It's about 9,000 tokens. And then Theorem Reach, uh, you can get anything up to like 16,000 or more. But again, it's dependent on uh, sort of you qualifying for certain surveys. But the good thing with Theorem Reach, Theorem Reach, the, the, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I just can't pronounce it. I'm someone needs to tell me how to pronounce this. Uh, anyway, uh, even if you don't quite complete the survey, you will still get credits for it. So that obviously is always a bonus. So that's pretty much what uh, I. I would do with them uh add gem is not a bad one as well but uh, you know but again asia mag i i just not i won't go near that uh purely because of uh like i say it now and again it has been known to contain more where uh so if you want to join the battles this is right so as you can see here these are the surveys i've done uh recently so i've had eight this is you'll get an 80 if you don't actually complete the survey so there are a couple of, i didn't complete that's one that i got about halfway through or maybe a third way through and i got 640 for that i completed that one uh i got a third again a way through there didn't didn't complete that one at all uh that one i probably got a third way through that one i completed totally and then you got four thousand seven thousand you know and if you can get four thousand tokens in here you can buy 10 mercenaries so if we if we go and look at my how many mercenaries i have now and how much i'm earning per hour so let's just scroll down Okay, so I have 176 mercenaries. So I think I must have only had about 50 mercenaries, uh, or maybe less, 40 or something, 25 even in the first video. Uh, and then, but now, obviously, I've got up to 176. I'm now earning 528 credits per hour, and I have 200, uh, 293 hours of food for my mercenaries so the great thing with that is i can't until that food runs out i've not got a problem although uh your contracts on your mercenaries because you, you i only ever buy the 30-day contracts because obviously you can buy you can get more mercenaries the more mercenaries you have then basically the more credits you earn so i just buy the 30-day uh tokens uh the sorry the 30 day contracts and if we go into uh here 
is that contracts yeah so this is my contracts and so these as you can see here so that I bought these yesterday so I bought 18 yesterday because that's the obviously that's going to last me through so these ones I bought recently I've got five days until that one runs out eight days for that one ten days to go uh, ten days to go so that one obviously that which is five mercenaries I will lose that in five days time so like I say with these you own and even with, like with these with uh, fire faucet even with Satoshi labs if you get enough credits in there to keep your um, your auto energy at 100% you only actually need to be coming into these programs every every other day or something like that completing a survey uh, and buying yourself some more mercenaries because obviously the if you buy your more, more mercenaries every time you come in here, then you're counteracting the loss of the ones that you're uh, further down your list. So I bought 18 yesterday, but I'm, and then in five days' time, I'm going to lose five. But that five is not going to have a massive impact on the amount of credits I'm earning because I keep buying large amounts of mercenaries uh, to keep, you know, to keep my, uh, my account at that high level of earning and if we go into um so that's yeah so that's um what's this i can't remember what this is okay yeah so basically you can see here there are all my credits so every hour 528 uh credits as you can see there and then if we go so let's just go and do the battle first i'll show you it's dead simple uh I, I basically all I ever come into here I don't really stick around for the battle I'll come in I'll go into the forest king I'll click battle and then I'll just hit 10 uh, so I want it so this is the highest amount you can use so I'll hit that and then that'll count down and then that will say that I've done 1.85 thousand of damage and I've got 17 experience all i use it for is actually try and level up just to try and build my levels up so i don't sort of sit in there use potions or anything like that what i'll do is i'll just come in here and then while i'm while i'm in here i'll just um i'll just use the um oh, i've run out of energy so i'll just use the um and i'll just level up that's it so like I say, and you've not even got to get involved with that if you don't want to. Just buy your mercenaries, buy your food, and then let your account tick over. It's dead simple. Um, okay, so we'll just go in and I'll show you my withdrawals. And these withdrawals, again, have all landed in my wallet nicely. So that one is pending because I did that yesterday. So 59,000 I did there yesterday. But as you can see here... Uh, on the 17th, I did a 43,000, got 4,814 Satoshis. The 13th, 56,000, uh, 6,269 Satoshis. And then I did a 31,000. And now, as you can see, they've all been completed and all of them have landed in my wallet with no problem at all. Uh, so, the four, the four programs I've just showed you all work on a very similar basis. You come in, it's they're all free. You basically complete some tasks on the offer wall. You get yourself some tokens or credits or whatever. You buy some stuff, um, and then you let them run. I mean, the good, the only, the only thing for me that stands out uh, for for um, with Fire Faucet as opposed to uh, the other programs, well. Uh, as opposed to Satoshi Labs and Hitbits, because Rollercoin again sort of, but is is the Rollercoin and Fire Faucet that you go and do your task and then you instantly earn your coins. You instantly earn your coins. Whereas with Satoshi Labs and Hitbits, you just sort of have to wait for those credits like this, those credits to build up, and then when they get to 25,000, I can then withdraw that and then send that to my wallet. So that's the only real difference, but obviously Hitbits and Satoshi Labs, because they are sort of more uh, simulators or gate like, like virtual games, as it were, sort of uh, mining games, uh, they're going to be fun. 
so that it's it's the emphasis is being sort of involved and playing it as opposed to sort of just going right i've done that give me my coins you know where's roller coin again that that's a little bit of fun as well but um fire faucet is more geared towards do your task get your coin get out that's that is basically what it, it is but obviously there's four programs there they are all working they are all paying you know so you know obviously i'm not saying that you've got to do all four just pick you know pick what works for you what fits into your style you know what you want to how you want to work if you don't want to be waiting around and playing uh games then use fire faucet you know essentially it's all the same because you do in the same tasks with the exception of obviously roller coin because you're playing games for that but with these three you're you're doing surveys you're watching videos you're hit, clicking on a short link so you know that the principle is exactly the same it's just the result and how you get to that final point is the difference so you know at the end of the day it's uh you pick and choose whichever one that you really feel yeah that's cool uh, I'll, I'll do that you know but anyway so that's pretty much it for the day uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it if you're new to the channel and you want to learn how to earn cryptocurrency for free you want to learn how to uh, you want to learn about cloud mining sites you want to learn about crypto investments then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my new videos as they come online and obviously if you could give me a like it really helps my channel and that helps me to bring more content to you so take care have a great weekend and i'll speak to you soon thanks a lot bye